New developments today in the cancer cluster that was detected in neighborhoods in northeast Houston. The Houston Health Department visiting with residents in the fifth ward to assess their concerns and their symptoms. Channel 2's Rose in Aragon was along for that survey. Saturday, we're going to go down the street, was a dissemination of information and a quest to learn more. Ever been diagnosed with cancer? Here in the fifth ward, dozens um, of volunteers English. with the Houston Health Department, along with community leaders from Impact Greater Fifth Ward, are going around 110 homes, which may be affected by a carcinogenic chemical plume contaminating groundwater underneath their homes. You're in the cluster zone. We're leaving behind information packages. Though the health department stresses the drinking water is safe. We know that the contaminants in the groundwater plume. Um, are carcinogenic and we know that this community has a cancer cluster that means elevated cancer cases and the, the TCQ actually requested the cancer cluster analysis after residents like Lisa Glenn complained that almost all of the people on her block died from cancer Creso kill me that's my mother's name Lucille Long and that's who died of two ca two kinds of cancer. And she's not alone. Johnny Ellis, my grandfather. Creosote, now known to cause cancer, was used to treat wooden rail ties at this old railroad facility right across from these homes. The unnerving study by the Texas Department of State Health Services deemed the neighborhood a cancer cluster with significantly more cases of lung, bronchus, esophagus, and larynx cancers, the same cancers associated with creosote. We know that there is a cancer cluster here, and we know that there's a groundwater plume, but there has not been a study um, that has looked at linking those two. So, we going through fifth ward. The community is working together. We are going to have a meeting on January 21st, uh, 2020, a new decade, uh, that we want uh, to reach out to a thousand plus people. Including the CDC, TCEQ, and Union Pacific, the company which owns the land. We are finally being heard. And organizers tell me they hope to have the results of this survey by February. For more information on how you can get involved, you can head to our website, click to Houston.com. From the Fifth Ward, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.